my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so let's step into Photoshop and then Control N for our new document to pop up. Now I'm not going to use 1500 this time, I'm going to use 1275. 1275. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to print it as well as send it on social media. So this is for social media because it's RGB, but I want to also keep it um, four inches when I'm printing it. So four inches, four inches, 4.25. The two five is just a little surplus for us, just in case the printer cuts those edges off. And so um, it's just inches, four inches that I want to print. So I just set it like that. Set it here 300, and then um, just keep it at pixels as well. It doesn't really matter. But this is the size that I want. And so I'm going to call it Pro Fertic Service. And then um, I'll leave it like this. I'll click on Create awesome i'll also set my rulers and then set a little bleed over here and then set my rulers oh uh, guys it's really pelting on my roof it's really raining cats and dogs <laughs> but i do hope you guys can hear me and then i'll bring the one in the middle and i'll bring this one as well all right and so basically this is how it's going to be and then we'll start with our background so let's go and drag our background in there we'll pick this one drag it in there and then we'll release it let's send it up send it up somewhere here let's duplicate it okay and then let's flip it horizontal nice and then let's give it a mask click on the mask here Make sure here is color black click on your brush go here and set it to soft round brush the hardness zero the opacity 100 and the flow 100 all right now make sure here is click it's very important guys and then you clean the lady or your brush hair off all right so now it blends perfectly really blends perfectly let's click here and let's click here as well and then let's try rotating it to see how it's going to be awesome let's also let's see let's drag it down just a little tiny bit let's see how it's going to be all right now i will select both and then ctrl t i would like to enlarge it just a little bit just a little bit and then drag it down Let's see how it's going to look like. Alright, so I would go with this. I think this is quite great. So I'll pick my brush and then I'll come and pick this particular color code. 1F0F0A. And I'll click on OK. Now the reason why we are creating this is because we want to paint down here. So kindly make sure your opacity and your flow are 100 and then also your soft round brush and then the hardness is zero and then you reduce the size a little bit let's clean let's mask this side okay that's the most important aspect let's mask there and we are done we are perfectly done with that let's also go and pick uh, a solid color let's choose black we want we don't want too much detail to be given to the background we want the background to remain in the background whilst the text and the things in front to have much of the attention and so let's set the opacity of this particular one to 48 and then let's set it to multiply now let's create a new layer and then let's pick the color d58 d5b we are going to use this particular color now increase it a little bit we wanted to cast some shadow also on the plane over here and so something like something like this and then hit it over there now let's go and set it to linear dodge because we want it to shine awesome create a new layer this time let's pick color white and let's increase the size a little bit let's paste over here 
and then that is it let's put everything in a folder and let's call it bg now let's bring some lines in here so let's go and then let's pick this particular line and drag it here let's reduce it drastically so i'll hold shift and i'll, I'll, send, I'll do it like that now i'll duplicate it and then i'll send it here select the three of them and then drag it until it hits both edges like that nice now let's duplicate it again and let's send it down here awesome let's put everything in a folder and let's call it lines now i want us to go to the blending modes and let's choose subtract and then let's set the opacity to 14 percent because the lines are too pronounced all right so now this is quite great awesome now we can come back all the time and then work on the opacity again so it doesn't really matter let's open the background let's drag the lines in there and let's close it so now it's time to bring our photos now so let's go and let's bring the person in there let's drag him in here all right and then let's mask him make sure the caps lock is off reduce the size click on the mask click over here to change it to black click on the brush and then we are using the soft round brush set the opacity and the flow 200 and then just clean here all right so double click over here and let's go for outer glow if your outer glow is not there you can click over here and select outer glow nice now the outer glow is showing nicely like this let's set here to normal let's set here to 15 percent let's set here to color white for the noise let's reduce the noise to zero and then let's set here to softer as well now let's go to the spread let's set the spread to 13 and then let's set the size to 67 and then also let's set the range to 50 and then the jitter to zero let's leave the contour like this and then let's see everything is quite great now click on ok so we're going to have something like this now let's deal with our color grid but let's put this particular image in the folder let's call it photo just so we keep our layers organized and very nice and beautiful all right so now the color grid we are going to use two adjustments let's go for um gradient map click here and let's click on this particular one violet and orange and then click on ok and then for the blending modes we are going to use overlay so overlay over here awesome and then let's set the opacity to 37 37 nice now let's go and let's pick our curves now curve is what is going to cause the difference over here curves you're not going to do anything much we are just going to drag this side down a little bit just a little tiny bit okay and then we are going to drag this side up just a little tiny bit and that is all just that let's go back to our lines let's set the opacity to 17 okay so I, ca I can see the lines in there i like that okay so with that done let's put the curves in the folder and then let's name it color grade nice let's start with our team over here as well let's type over there and let's pick the details let's pick extreme and let's type extreme there I don't like this font let's click on our move to I don't like this particular font let's go to our character and then let's use railway railway also let's set it to bold here and then over here let's set it to minus 40 that's the tracking click here to make it italics also click here to make everything bolder the font size let's set it to 25 double click here let's apply some few layer styles now we are going to outer glow and then we are going to set here to normal 
we are also going to set the opacity to 54 and then you're going to choose this particular color f8 d9 a6 awesome i can already see the effect in there i love that let's set it to softer and then for the spread let's use two to reduce it a little bit for the size let's also reduce it to 13 to make it more realistic and then let's click on ok awesome 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 i think let's add one more layer style to let's add a drop shadow let's see how it's going to look like ok now let's set it to normal here let's choose color black over here so the opacity to 89 the angle to 90 the distance let's use 17 and then let's use spread 11 and then for the size let's use 35 yep now it looks quite sharper over there let's click on ok so this is what we are going to use let's click here and let's type prophetic prophetic drag it up here now for prophetic we are going to use impact so go here and then look for impact nice set it to regular set the size to 53 also set the tracking to minus 40 and then also going to keep it italics border over here and then also going to keep it color white nice now let's convert it to a smart object sweet click on prophetic click on the move tool and then send it down what is happening all right so let's also make sure it's in the middle center aligned center aligned awesome well now for prophetic i want you to double click here and then let's go to drop shadow let's set here to normal let's set here to black let's set here to 89 let's set the angle to 90 and then let's set here to 17 let's set here to 29 so the spread is going to take 29 and then the size is going to take 27 we want it to be so sharp all right so now you can see the difference all right so now you can see it's very nice that's what you want let's duplicate extreme and drag extreme down like that now for extreme we are going to use encounter and then just paste it there we're not going to do any other editing or corrections to it just like that okay so we are going to arrange our text let's send extreme up just like that you can see it's casting some shadows on the prophetic we like it it's awesome and then for the encounter let's drag it up a little bit in fact i don't like the shadow that is casted on the encounter so i'll drag the encounter up awesome now this is also great click here click here click here and then put it in a folder and let's call it theme now control t to transform it and let's rotate it a little bit you see the background is also tilted and so the text tilted also makes it even more nicer now let's go and open the theme and let's click on the prophetic let's duplicate it right click it and then clearly a star all right so the one beneath is we clear the layers on the one beneath that's what we are going to use so i want you to go to filter and i want you to go to blur and then motion blur now set the angle to 13 and then also set the distance to 117 all right now click on ok now let's set it to 50 percent over here now duplicate it click on shift and then move it to the right side one two and then click over here on the one beneath it click on shift and then move to the left side one two okay so we have something very cool like this this is how we want it to look like let's put the blurs in a folder and let's call it motion blur okay so now let's go back to the color grading click on the sh um, curves let's drag this side down a little bit 
okay now click over here click on your brush make sure your caps lock is off and then hit the middle here i also want you to go and pick um curves and then let's drag this side here a little bit that's all that is all and we are done now you can close it so the next thing we are going to work on is our days and our time and our venue so let's click somewhere here and let's pick this and let's paste it there let's use hell vertica let's set it to regular here let's set the size to 6.9 also let's set the leading to 7.4 i know you can't see let's click on our move tool and then let's just drag it up somewhere here all right let's put it here make sure it is middle aligned okay also would like to go here and make sure it is clicked the middle here is clicked the middle aligned is clicked and then also make sure it is centered or middle aligned here nicely let's drag it down a little bit okay so nice and then um we are not done with it we also would like to uh, make sure here is minus 40 and then let's take this one off to make it quite stand we don't want it we don't want it italics and then it's also white let's duplicate it and then let's drag it down a little more and then let's pick the rest of the details and let's paste it there now this one is quite bold i want this one to be lighter just so it look cool if they are all bold it will rub it of its original beauty that we intend to create so let's use railway and then for railway i think we should use light over here nice so this one looks quite bolder this one looks quite uh light and then we are setting over here that is the leading to seven also we would like to set it to minus 40 over here we'll keep it caps log over here then we we'll also like to keep it white as well now let's see this is quite great we don't need to just leave a little space over there that's all let's drag the theme and everything up so we can get more space down there so now let's go and type here let's pick streaming on then let's paste it there drag it up open your character panel and then let's type um sorry let's select real way also let's use medium this time let's check the size to 10 we don't want your sizes to all be the same to be too boring set um, here to minus 40 and then also make sure here is clicked let's give it a different color because we are going to use streaming on youtube and youtube is color red i would like to give it a little red color so let's use d 8 27 27 but you can experiment and use any color you want and see which one works best for you let's drag it somewhere here as well and then let's go and pick our youtube logo let's resize it and drag it somewhere here keep resizing it okay nice now let's keep it in the middle also all right so now it's centered or middle line nicely let's click here and let's pick um the handle that we are going to be using drag it somewhere up here now we are going to use railway still for this we are going to set it to medium as well but for the font size let's make it much smaller let's use five or some let's go to the tracking let's set it to five two zero and then for the color let's use f8 a6 8 a and click on okay let's make sure this also middle aligned okay so we need to do a little corrections here let's send this one down somewhere here and then for the youtube to the morning let's also drag it down okay 
all right so i think we are done i like the arrangement and then let's put this and this in the folder and then let's call it days and um venue now let's start with our our name as well let's type our name here let's go and pick um this and let's paste it there let's drag it up go to your character go to paragraph let's make it um, right aligned drag it somewhere here i would also like us to work on the details a little bit let's use health vertical for this one let's set it to bold let's set the font to four the tracking let's set it to zero and then for the leading let's set it to let's set it to four let's see all right so four is quite good let's set it to white as well and then let's just drag it you can experiment with the place you want to put it as well let's go here and type the date and then let's type one and paste it there now we are going to use health vertical we are also going to use bold but the font size we are going to use 25 for it and then let's set the color to f8 a6 8a then click on ok let's drag it somewhere here now let's use health vertical let's use bold for the font size let's use turn and then let's drag it here now open it again let's make sure everything is covered the tracking is um this the color we are still using the same color that we are using for the other one as well and then that is it let's duplicate it okay and then let's set it to color white close it also make sure this uh, middle aligned if it's not like that you can send it somewhere here and then let's go and pick the month it's october let's paste it there awesome now click here click here click the duplicated and then drag it down hold shift and then drag it down okay now you're going to change the um one two three awesome we're also going to change uh, an st for first 31st okay and then for the october you are going to maintain it let's just oh, no another one we're going to change it like this awesome awesome let's drag it down a little bit okay so now this is it let's go and pick our ellipse tool and then create a very nice circle hold shift and then drag and create a very nice circle okay let's drag it somewhere here drag it down and then let's change the color to black awesome let's go and set the opacity to 84 that is great give it a mask click on your brush make sure caps lock is off reduce the size a little bit also make sure here is black brush soft round brush 100% 100% click on the mask and then let's mask this side okay click over here and come and click on the ellipse as well let's put it in a folder and then let's call it date let's put this in the folder let's call it name everything looks quite organized now click on the date and let's drag it somewhere here okay now we also want to work on the logo and the logo we are going to keep the logo somewhere around this side so let's pick the name kingdom and let's paste it there click on your move tool and drag it somewhere up here we are going to use cambria for this let's click on cambria and then let's set it to regular also set the font size to 5.7 the tracking we're going to keep it at zero and then let's click over here rather and then make it color white here as well now duplicate it and bring it down 
they're going to keep the same font the same thing the same this but we are going to change the tracking over here to a different number we are going to use two six zero enter and then we are also going to keep this one off and then let's drag it here now let's go and pick add enter and let's come and paste it over there all right so now this is how it's going to be like let's go and pick our logo let's drag our logo in there and then let's resize it we want to keep it quite proportionate to the text okay make it a little bit smaller nice let's put everything in a folder let's call it logo and let's find a very nice place to put it let's do somewhere here it's quite great the date let's drag the date somewhere here okay now click around here let's work on the contact and then let's paste it there right click it and then let's rotate 90 degree counterclockwise okay now we are going to use a different font for this let's use Arial a font I've used in quite a long time Arial we also want to keep it narrow and then we also want to keep the size 6 and then for the um, tracking let's set it to 5 8 0 awesome let's also keep it color white and then make sure this is also off uh, okay let's drag it up let's make it uh, regular let's see let's keep it regular so let's zoom in and then click over here on your rectangular tool and let's create a very thin line over here a very thin line and release it all right now let's make sure our um, fill is off and then the stroke let's go and choose white and then come here and choose this particular one let's set the size to one point um, nine and let's see how it's going to be click on the rectangle let's bring it down a little bit let's see how it's going to be like click over here on the for more info let's drag it quite up here now let's drag the rectangle over here let's drag it beneath the color gray don't put it in the folder just keep it over here also i want us to do one more thing i want us to create a layer and then let's click on our brush let's set the color here to color black and then make sure caps lock is off increase the size a little bit make sure it's a soft round brush opacity and flow is 100 and let's go this way now let's reduce the size drastically to around 40 percent this is great also go back and pick your ellipse 2 and then draw a circle like this okay now let's send it up push this side here and push this side here and let's see now you want both sides of the circle to touch the e that's what we are looking for you want both sides to touch the e if possible it should be a little bit above the e and then we are going to set it to 84 percent over here 84 percent nice so we can see through a little bit give it a mask and then just clean the top of it awesome and then clean the bottom side of it now let's put this this and this in a folder let's call it extra And just like that we are done with this particular flyer so guys if you love this video hit the bell icon and subscribe to my channel as well there's more videos that i'll be creating from time to time i don't want you to miss any of them 
by subscribing and hitting the bell icon you never miss out on any of the details i also want you to give this video a thumbs up share it if you can and comment down below guys i love you all see you in the next tutorial peace